I'm willing to go anywhere. At the very beginning of this journey, I told the doctors I'm willing to do anything, go anywhere, and give up everything if I have to. And uh, this is part of that journey. It's always been about one thing, curing his son. On this day, Terry Puravalakis is on his way to San Diego to a global conference on rare genetic disorders. He wants to talk to every expert he can find, and he's taking his plea with him. The sign is basically to help spread awareness to our cause. If we sat at home alone, depressed, crying, it's not going to get us there. These are the type of things that we have to do. Go. Uh-oh. Slow, slow. Say hi, Chan. Hello. Would you like a hand? Yes. Hi. The race against time is cruel and unrelenting. Michael Perovalakis is the only child in Canada diagnosed with SPG50. Come on. Mm, great work. A rare genetic disorder that threatens to paralyze him. Done. Hands over here. Ah. Woo, woo. Good try, good try. Therapy try now is about halting his decline until his parents can find a cure. Good job. Anything that facilitates active movement is what we want. Michael's story captured headlines and hearts after he was diagnosed in April. His disease is so rare, there is no existing treatment. But there is hope at a staggering price. Custom gene therapy that costs $3 million. What is a reasonable amount to expect? Is there anything to expect? Terry came to the conference in San Diego to learn how to apply for funds and grants. So much about gene therapy is new. So much depends on desperate parents forging the way. At stake is my son, right? My son uh, becoming paralyzed is what's at stake. Uh, him uh, having a brain degradation is what Michael has coming to him. So everything's at stake for us. Every minute matters. Michael's family has drained their savings and so many people have rallied to help. In their neighborhood especially, a sea of support. And the plan is to send posters to every corner of the world. Back home, the kindness of strangers has already been overwhelming, says Georgia Perovalakis. You know what the cutest is the little kids. There have been so many lemonade stands for Michael that it was just so heartwarming to see how they just saw his story and they just jumped on it. Um, to see like little kids helping little kids is just amazing. Hold on, hold on. The money raised so far, nearly $700,000, is funding the first phases of a clinical trial in Dallas. Researchers here have created a virus that could transport a missing gene to Michael's brain. It could cure him, but there is more testing to be done and more money needed to do it. You're going to walk to the bunny. There we go. Come on. Let's Got it? Back. Let's go. Imagining a cure okay. is fuel to keep going. <laughs> you crazy kid. Oh, slow, slow. I envision that day, yeah. And then that moment afterwards where he does the hard work to gain the stuff that he's lost. Absolutely. Can you see it, Georgia? You know what? I have days where I can't see it because I'm with him all the time and I see him struggle and I see him trying so hard. And sometimes it's hard for me to envision that moment. It seems, you know, Terry's more positive than me. Um, but three million is a long way away. Go, slow. But they say they'll get there. Hold oh, on, two hold hands. On. Even go. if it's one faltering oh, step at a time. Joanna Brumaliotis, CBC News, Toronto. Yeah. You want to touch him? <laughs>